Okay, how's everybody doing? <clears throat> I know I should be having hunting videos and everything coming out right now. But what I've got now is another product review. And there's going to be a couple others come out here real soon. As I've told everybody, our bow hunting will probably aren't starting that until October 19th. In fact, I think it was 10 years ago whenever the DNR changed the opening day to September. Uh, if they hadn't changed the opening day of bow season, opening day of bow season would be the 19th of October, the Saturday after Columbus Day. But, enough of that. I'm bringing you another trail camera review. Of course, I've already done one, but they have made some improvements, as you'll see later in the video when Jared installed his. New View Hunting. This is the model. The last one we did was called the T5. This one is the NV1 trail camera. And uh, 0.1 second trigger speed, six months standard or standby time. Operation temperature is minus four degrees Fahrenheit to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. It is a 4K digital wildlife camera with 48 megapixel and CMOS sensor. Uh, it's 130 degree wide angle lens, uh, waterproofs IP66. It supports up to a 256 gigabyte micro SD card and trigger time again is 0.1 second. Uh, I've had the box open and right off the bat get the manual. Uh, Apparently, this entire manual is in English, and it goes through all the features. It has a QR code to scan for the warranty. This is not a Bluetooth Wi-Fi camera. Um, but like I said, it's just like the other camera. We'll get into some close-ups here in just a minute. This is the camera. Like I said, it looks just like the earlier one that I did a review on. You have your camera lens, and you have three PIR sensors. It's got the uh, blackout uh, LEDs. Of course, the, the, the cover over the LEDs is clear. It's not blacked out, just the LEDs. You've got your two locks. The best feature, best feature I've seen so far, is the other one had little wings on it for you to hook your strap to, to strap it to a tree. And we've all done this. When you strap this thing to a tree, sometimes you have to tilt it. And to do that, you have to find a stick put behind it, between it and the tree to get that angle. This one, you don't have to. See the teeth? You put your strap on, strap it to the tree. You want to get the angle? You've got a bolt here, wing nut, you loosen, and this, and it has teeth on it. Not just here, but in here where it moves so you can lock it into whatever place you want and I don't know if I can get a close-up in there to show you those teeth but if you need it to tilt down say you put this up high in a tree I mean you use your self climbing stand climbed up in the tree or uh, ladder sticks or whatever and put it up in the tree 10 feet strap that to the tree and then there's your camera looking down. So you can adjust whatever angle you want. If it's just a little bit of an angle, a little bit of an angle. So that was one nice feature that I really like. Still has the standard screw to where you can screw it onto a tripod. And it comes with the accessory kit, 
Guess what, folks? You got a 64 gigabyte SD card and a full size SD card adapter in a nice little case here. You got your strap. And, you know, some of these cameras from other companies have a very cheap buckle on their strap. So we're going to check out New View Hunting's. Guess what? It's metal. And instead of like a, a buckle or whatever, you can run your strap through there. You see this, you pull down, run your strap up through there, and there it is. It's cinched up. This is one of those nice metal buckles. It's got the spring. It's got teeth on it. So uh, that is nice because Jared and I have had too many other cameras, I won't mention company names or nothing, whose buckles are really thin, cheap plastic. And you go tighten it up on the tree to secure it, and the buckle just breaks. It also comes with, get it out of the package. USB-C cable for data transfer. And it comes with four Alkaline AA batteries. So with those, you're set up to go. And we're going to do that here in just a minute. Uh, this camera, if they haven't changed anything, is uh, you can use alkaline or lithium. I'm just trying to find where it says that real quick. Yeah, battery type. 1.5 volt AA alkaline or lithium batteries. So you can use lithiums in this. The previous one we got, the T5, you could only use alkaline in. So this one is an upgrade. The camo on this is kind of brown looking where I think the yellow one was sort of green. So let me get the camera turned around, give you a close up inside view of this camera. Okay, what I'm going to do now is, like I said, I'm not going to go in depth with the manual review. Like I said, it's all in English, and from what I've seen, the uh, it pretty much answers any questions, goes through all the menus and everything. Uh, uh, I will say. Okay, we already know the photo resolution is 48 megapixels all the way down to 5 megapixels. So you've got 5, 8, 12, 16, 20, 32, and 48. Video resolution is 480p, 720, 8, or 1080p, 1520p, and 2160p. The detection angle is up to 130 degrees. Detection distance on this camera is supposed to be 80 feet. Feel light LED wavelength, uh, 940 NM, no glow. Uh, feel light LED quantity, there's 44 pieces. Trigger time 0.16 or 0.1 second. Waterproof level IP66, working temperatures uh, minus 4 degrees to minus 160, or not minus, minus 4 degrees to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Memory card up to a 256 gig SD card class 10. Power supply is batteries or external. Uh, external, you got a plug right here. Uh, shows you the connection type, it's six volt, 1.5 amp. The center is positive, the outer barrel would be negative. Uh, 
working voltage. Oh, battery type, of course, 1.5 volt AA alkaline slash lithium batteries, working voltage 6 volt. External power supply, DC 6 volt. Standby time up to 6 months. Photo format is JPEG. So, uh, does it say anything? I wanted to see if it told you what the video format was. You know, whether it's MOV, M, uh, uh, AVI, or what. I really don't see that here. Um, but, I'm going to open this up for the first time. I still have the protective cover over the sensors and the lens. You open it up, you have the rubber gasket, of course like the other one, you have your micro SD card slot, you have USB-C, like I said that's just data, and then you have your off, test, and video switch, you have all your menus like the first one, uh, again they have the little pull piece here for the battery compartment, you pull down, take it out, it will take up to eight batteries it will operate just on the four. So first thing first, and we'll get the batteries out. And install them. There's the first two. Now the quality of these batteries, I don't know how what the quality is like on these batteries. Uh, you don't recharge these, these are strictly aquas. And I don't guess it matters where you put them. So whether it's the top or the bottom. So I'm just going to install them on the bottom. And put the cover back on. Get the buckle out of the way. And then I'm going to get the micro SD card. Like I said, it comes with a card reader, or not reader, a uh, full size adapter. It comes with the 64 gigabyte. And I'm hoping I'm inserting it correctly. Yes, because it's going all the way. You push it in until it's almost flush. Now we're going to turn it on, and I hope the sun doesn't glare. Test mode. New view hunting, welcome. And right now you're seeing my big hand in the screen, hopefully. Uh, I know I'm going to have to set the date and the time. So to do that, you go to menu. And it's got the sounds. I don't know if I can turn those off or not. The mode right now is photo. <clears throat> the photo resolution is 6 megapixel. I'm going to take it up to 48 megapixel. Photo series, just one photo. Video resolution, which I don't think I'll have it in video, but I'm going to take it to 3840 by 2180p. Uh, CL video resolution, I'm going to leave it 5. Video length, I'm going to leave it 10 seconds. Audio recording, make sure that's on.
uh, shot lag, which I believe that's the time between it takes another picture, is I think 30 seconds. They got it set for 30 seconds. I may change that. Side motion sensors are on. Sensitivity. Motion sensors is middle. You have low, middle, and high. Target recording time, leave that off. Time lapse, leave that off. Language, of course, is English. Endless capture, that's where, like I've explained before, you fill up your SD card and you're going to be another month before you get to it. Instead of it not taking any more pictures and recording it, it will keep taking pictures and recording them, but your oldest ones, your very first one, your very first two, three, ten, whatever, it, it will erase them. Have that turned off. Time and date. Set time and date. Okay. This is 2024. And this is October. And, oops. Today's date is the 4th. Okay, and the time right now is 5.35, which would be 17.35, make it 36, so that should all be set now, yep. Time format, to hit OK, it's set for 24, or I can set it for 12 hours. I leave it on 24. Date format, it's year, year, month, and day. I like mine month, day, and year. So I change that, and we're done. Apologize for the dog. Go back to menu. We have photo stamp time and date that's what I want on it password protection don't worry about beep sound yes you can turn that off so now it's off format memory card serial number let's format the memory card since I put it in there okay serial number that's the camera auto power off make sure that is off. Reset settings, version, and you're back to the beginning. That's it. Very simple to set up. And now I'm back to the, the display screen. You know, see my hand there. Uh, the battery indicator is, kind of, is in a yellow color. I think Jared had a little issue with that because he make, makes him think his batteries are low. But it's full battery. Got the date, 10-4-2024. 1738 it's set for video I need to change that to photo okay now it's set for photo so there it is it's photo and if I was going to test it, turn it on, it gives you a countdown. You get about 15 seconds to get it all closed up. I'm going to let it do its thing. Three, two, one. And then, of course, if it takes a picture of my hand, I'll include it in there. But it's not going to show it to you on the screen. But the next clip you see will be Jared putting it up. And Jared really was impressed with the mount on the back of it. Uh, right now I'll go to replay. Let's see if I've got a picture of my hand. Well, I've got one picture and it's of the tabletop there. 
my hand, I must have moved it too quick. No, I can see my wash band. So it did get a picture. So you get out of the, back to the menu, or not, but the screen, and I'll turn it off. And it's ready for me to set out. I'll probably set it out this weekend, but I'm gonna get this video out. We got a video of Jared putting his up. And like I said, this is our initial review of these cameras. Uh, the, the test will be how long they'll operate through various seasons. Uh, the, uh, we don't like giving a, a review and giving a thumbs up on anything. But so far, the first one that we got is still working. It's still down on the farm. It's still getting pictures and video. I've had to change the batteries in it. Probably need to do that again now. But uh, the biggest improvement over it, over it with this one is this mount right here. That, you know, my gosh, you could strap it to a tree almost like that and have it aimed down. Uh, this is such a neat feature. Now, of course, it's plastic, so you, you got to be careful with it. You can't be jerking on it or anything. It will break. But uh, that's our initial review. Like I said, the next clip is Jared putting it up, his thoughts about it. So uh, stay tuned for that. And then after we've had these out a while, we'll do another video talking about the battery life, picture quality, if we've had any issues, you know, fogging or whiteout. Because we've had some cameras around the lens here, somehow it gets moisture in it. And it fogs up now of course on the outside it's going to fog up this was on the inside of some other cameras we tested so we're going to see how this does how it picks up with these three sensors so just uh stay tuned to jane j true outdoor adventures to see that uh that'll probably be three months four months down the road so next clip jerry putting it out and his thoughts okay folks we have set Jared's camera. Some new view from, hunting. Yep, the new NV-1 yep. uh, trail camera. It came with four alkaline batteries. Is that a rechar recharge? No, they're not. No? It came with a micro SD card, an SD card adapter, full size, mm -hmm. and a case for that to fit in. Right. Came with your strap. And what is nice about this camera... Oh, and, i got to do something. This is it. Just talking minute. about how new it is. No, 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 look. It's still got the film. Oh, yeah. He's got to peel the film off of everything. And that's the greatest part. Oh, I love <laughs> peeling the film off stuff like that. Oh, it's so good. Oh, yeah. It's like peeling the sunburn. There we but go. But what's nice oh, no, about... there's one. There's one right here. Look. Is that on your camera lens? Nope. Yeah. Oh, man. That's like peeling the screen off of a brand new cell phone. Oh, I got it stuck right there. Okay. Okay, what's nice about this camera is New View really thought this out. I don't know if other hunters have told them, but it's got a tilt base. I love the tilt base. The tilt base is amazing. I don't have to stick a stick behind it. You know, you, you set it on the tree, you tighten it up as tight as you want, you loosen up a bolt, you tilt it to the angle it needs to be, you tighten it down. It's amazing. So love that. If we was on public land, Jared could have that camera clear up there and tilt it down where it would pick it's, up the it's trail. It's overlooking the, tr the trail. So, you know, New View Hunting really thought about this one. They've listened to hunters. Like I said, I don't know if that tilt base was a hunter recommendation or what after the T5 camera. I'm telling you what, that right there is a game changer. I say that a lot. Man, it's it's so amazing. Like, like right here, my other camera that I had right here, we put it up on the tree before I could cinch it all the way tight. You know, we had to find a stick and we had, stick to, behind. we had to cram a stick behind it and then tighten it up with the stick behind it. This one here, I just tightened it up as tight as it would go. I loosened up a wing nut. I tilted it to where it needed to be. Now, granted, I did cheat because <clears throat> this is something that they could improve on. When you open that... The camera's facing and you There screen. is no way to tell what it's actually looking at. So you don't know how much you need to tilt it, but there's a cheat. 
and most hunters know this. I've seen them most on hunters do. But if you go to your camera, and I'll I'll have to have your help. And my phone has three cameras. Okay, so you find which camera your phone is actually looking through, which is that one. It would be this one right here. Okay. Yep, the bottom. And you take that camera. And hold it where the camera and lens. you wind that up to your camera lens, which would be roughly right here. And then you take a screenshot of what your camera's looking at. And that is the view your camera's getting. And that's how you angle it. Now, a lot of your other cameras actually have the viewfinder or your screen on the inside built into the back side which is where this one's battery pack is but you have it built in back there <clears throat> to where when you open this or whatever and maybe your viewer is even attached you can actually see what that camera's looking at with this one you have to do this trick you have to yeah you have to line your camera up Figure out what camera your phone's looking through, line that one up with your viewfinder, and then take a screenshot, and then look, and you'll be able to see if you're looking at the trail that you're wanting to look at. Well, the one brand camera we have, the whole camera didn't open up. The bottom half did. The right. camera lens stayed where it was at. You opened up the bottom. Your view screen was on the back part. Right. Yeah, and then you got to see what the viewfinder You could was see doing. what, yeah, you could see what I was looking at. But now here's the thing, the, these got three sensors, PIR sensors, one here, one here, one here. Your camera lens, and then your blackout infrared light. Which I'm interested to see what those look like at night. Yeah. Because we have some cameras that are kind of red, and you can see No, them. no, no, I've got, I've got at least one right now. And maybe I'll shoot this video later, and you can add it to this. When that joker kicks on... It looks like somebody just started up a microwave. You got red lights everywhere. Yeah. Okay. These are supposed to be blackout. Me, I should not be able to see these. Right. Out here. So maybe later, after it gets darker, maybe I'll come out here and I'll test it with the video camera rolling. And we'll see just how red those turn. Yeah. To where if they're noticeable by the, the human eye. Because I'm going to tell you what, these aren't just deer cameras. People buy these as security cameras around their property, they and they put them up. And that red light to a human, if you're coming up this trail and you see that red light, you know it's there. Now you're destroying the camera, you're right. stealing the camera. Um, for a deer, they might see it and just shrug it off, and keep going. But if you're using these as security cameras, you don't want that lighting up at all. Now, right now, he's got this one set to do video okay and i will tell you this comes with video and pictures th this comes with those four alkaline batteries this thing will hold a total of eight batteries right yes it will hold eight and uh what's nice is when you have this open the compartment on the back the batteries go in they do have a little i call it a lanyard but it's a loop it's a little pull strap that you can pull down to take that back cover off which was the best thing anybody could have done stick your finger in there and pull down a yeah. plastic piece i just grab a little piece pull, of rope and yeah. pull down and the whole back comes off and you can put your batteries yeah. in there. now that's great and all but i am still a fan of being able to open this up hit an eject button and a battery compartment come out the bottom where I can put my batteries. Yeah. And slide it back up in and lock, and everything's contained inside of the box. There's only That's been where the eject. Button. There have been some cameras, and I'm going to say this. I'm not going to name the company name, but there have been some cameras that Jared and I have reviewed that when you opened up the door, there was a button. It's inside. So if you locked it, nobody could dump your batteries. Right. Right. right yeah. If you so, put a lock on this, and one thing I will say. Make this hole bigger. There ain't no reason you can't make this piece of plastic bigger. Yeah, because end up, what you have to do... No, 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 no. ...is a lock yeah, like that. I don't want no little lock like this. I could cut that with a pair of, you know, wrenches. Yeah. You could put, right. a, you could put a couple wrenches on that and snap that like it was a nothing. But if you made this these couple little pieces of plastic that much bigger... 
which wouldn't affect your, your latches. Make these bigger, make that hole bigger to where Brinks makes a round lock. It's probably about that big around. You could put that Brinks lock on there and then this is locked shut. Even if they steal it from here, they're not getting inside of it because of that Unless Brinks lock. Unless they break that plastic. That's what I was gonna say. If you, well, they could break the plastic. You, if you do that, you might want to metal reinforce it in the factory when it's made. I wouldn't but. say go that far because now you're talking about raising the price of the camera. Right. Okay. But just a mold change to make this bigger, make that make hole the bigger. Make a little bit bigger. To where I could get that Brinks round lock in there. Um, I could lock this shut. And if somebody cut my straps, they can't get in my camera unless they break it. And if they break it, let's face it, they got my pictures, but they can't really reuse it, can they? They broke it. Well, they could reuse it, but they can't lock it. But they broke it. Yeah. Okay. Um, but you could do that. You could put a you could put a good lock on it. Um, as far as security goes, you're only going to keep the honest man honest. Yeah. Um, a thief is going to steal, and they're going to steal no matter what. Even, yeah. even if they have to break something, they're going to steal it just to steal it and it, just to be a pain in the butt. Even here on private land behind Jared's farm, private land, I had and he had cameras stolen that we had put out up here. So it happens on public land a lot. A lot. And private land, it's not that often, but you still have trespassers who will come on private land and they'll do that. But now what he was saying, and I'm going to open this, even though he's already got it set, and it's probably been recording video of us sitting here doing this. But this is your battery compartment. If there was a button here and a tray come out the bottom. For your batteries. For your batteries. Then you push that tray back up. It locks in place. And when you shut the camera, nobody can get your batteries because they can't get in it. And if it's locked because up. Because once you have it locked up, they can't They get can't get there. to where the button is to release but the battery that compartment. that needs to be bigger than that little lock. Yeah. Those little locks can be broke just by putting a couple of screwdrivers in and snapping them the right way or a couple a couple wrenches and now this pulling one, the right way. This one might not be because yes, this is. is a Brinks. I could break that in no time. You need one of the round Brinks locks that you I know what you're talking about. You the ones we put, use on the tree stands. You need to put a, a picture of it in this. Yeah. That you can't get a bolt cutter on or something like that and put that on there. Now, they could break the plastic. Um, but they're going to damage the camera. They're going to damage the camera if they do it, but I'm just saying, put a good secure lock on there. Um, not every hunter wants to have to build a box. Right. And and some of your features, like your little tray to tilt the camera, that's no good if you have to put it in a box. Yeah. This is great, and this is how it's supposed to be, but we need a bigger lock on this. Yeah. We understand security, but that size lock right there, that's like a child's yeah. diary or something. It needs to be bigger. It needs it needs to be at least, you know, what? An eighth inch round, quarter something. inch round, yeah. something like that, to where you can get a good lock through there. Um, but what we're going to do is we're Jared's, run this one. Jared's going to run this and I haven't put mine out yet and I'm, I'll get mine out here soon. The uh, other one that I had, you know, I'm going to move it somewhere else. We're not even going to say where it's at, but we're going to move it somewhere else. Uh, it's the one that I can link to um, from Bluetooth. We put this one here. We just got this one. It's brand new. I know this is a good area right here. I wanted this one here. There's a trail here. Um, there's a real good trail here. And as it's getting closer to fall, the bucks start traveling this trail. And we found the rubs back here for it. We found all kinds of stuff. So we're going to let this one run from now until probably January right here. I'm not going to move this one. Right. And the thing is, what I'm going to say is at the end of this video, because this is the last half of the video, at the end of this video, we will have some video from this camera. I'll have some pictures from, since he's doing video, I'll do mine in pictures. And I might do, I might do video too. But, I did photo and video. Right. I didn't just do video. Right. So we can have both from this. Right. So what I'm just saying is 
And if it's I'm not mistaken, this thing will record video in 4K. Yeah. And it will also That's do, what you said it at. It will also do uh, pictures in uh, 48 megapixel, I think. I think it's 48 it, megapixel. It's standard in 5, but you can go all the way up to 48. Yeah. So it's going to be pretty good video. Yeah. Um, I don't know how the sound quality is going to be. There's been some previous versions of this that the sound quality was a little eh. We're going to see how this sound quality is. Yeah, and like I said. And right now it's recording. It's so. recording, so it may have video of me. I haven't I, I haven't seen anything that indicated it is recording. Which is great for me. I yeah. don't want it to indicate. Right. If so. somebody's coming through or something like that, because I also <coughs> use these. It's security. Not just for deer and for hunting, but because of the idiots that live around me, I use it as security as well. Right. So, so with that, folks, that's the end of this video. And... Like I said, there'll be pictures, there'll be videos from these cameras. And uh, like I said, it's from New View Hunting. It's the NV-1. It's the newest model. Uh, after they had some T5 models, I'm had some what, complaints. I really like this. this I like that setup. That is, let me get in here kind of close. Show them how it works. Loosen it up, or do I need to get in there and You do would it? have to do it, Jared. Let me, let me get in there. But you can see it. He's got the strap wrapped around it, but it tilts. And there's the there's the bolt that you loosen up. And, and all you got to do, all you got to do is just just loosen this up. Just and then if you need more down or more up, depending on if you're looking up a ridge or something like that, or looking down a holler, you just put it where you want it, and you tighten this down. And, and then it's set. And that's you made. You don't have to stick nothing behind it. And what's nice is that's made to the camera. Yeah, it's it's. We can get in there and show them that. Yeah, let me get, move your I mean, that's all a part of it. It's made to the camera. It's not something you attach. It's made to it. And it's not an up charge. Right. All these other companies want to charge an up charge for that. So, stuff. folks, there'll be a link to New View Hunting's page, the Amazon store. So if you're interested in these, I'm gonna get my finger out of the way. If you're interested in these, make sure you go down in the description, find the links and everything. Now, I will say, I do not put my 100% stamp of approval on it yet. These are new. We are putting through the paces. Within a Six year, months to a year. Six months to a year, we will do a follow-up of how these things have stood up to the weather, to being out all season, um, to taking cold hot. pictures to like, I don't know, 25 every two weeks or, you know, 100 every two weeks or taking 500 pictures a week. We're going to see how they hold up. We're going to see how the batteries hold up. Um, right now, it's with the batteries that came with it. I also want to test it with a set of, you know, regular Energizer batteries or something like that Real that, vibe, that didn't come with it. Because right. you always have to question yourself, <clears throat> how long did it sit on a shelf? How long was it in a factory? How long was it shipped? Those batteries, batteries in general, lose charge over time. So... We'll try it with these batteries. We'll see how long it lasts. We're just going to let it sit. We're going to let it do its thing. I'm not going to bother it. You might not see pictures up from it for a while because I don't want to bother this area. I mean, it's well, under it's September 22nd. I want to try to stay out of here. Also understand, this is natural movement. This is, there's no right, there's, bait. There's no bait. There's no, no feed, mineral. There's nothing. No mineral, nothing. This is a natural trail. This is natural movement. But I want to see how it does, how it holds up. I may check this camera again. It's September 22nd. I may check it again October 22nd, okay? Roughly a month difference. I'll check it, see what the battery life's like, see what the pictures that it took were like, the, the video that it took. Now, with video, it's using more battery life. Any yep. camera you buy, it's going to do that because it's recording audio and it's recording video. And, and it's recording... And taking pictures at the highest settings. Yeah. If you drop those down 
And there's, there's a bunch of different settings for the pictures and the video. And the length of time you have the video set for, those are set. I think the set... lowest you can go is 10 seconds. Well, I was going to say, I think you got that one set on 10 seconds. I got it set for 10, but I think you can go up to like 20 seconds to 30 seconds. To... But what I was going to say is at nighttime, when those LEDs come on to light up. It's going to take more battery. It's going to take more battery. But I'm saying there's a lot of factors into this. Right. Right now, I have the camera set on the highest quality you could possibly set it for up. video and pictures and we're going to see how long it lasts with natural movement with what's going on in the woods now granted i'm going to get some pictures when the wind blows the leaves are going to move i have my sensor set probably a little too high and you might get i don't know i was gonna say you might the get sun some sun over there yeah. i'm not going to get the sun well i just know the sun's hitting it right now but yeah but it's it's angled it's that way this way and yeah. the sun is that way yeah. so we're good there but you know if the shadows change the wrong way it might take a picture it might take a video but that's all part of it if you're a hunter and you've got a camera and you put it in the woods um we're trying to do the testing that you would normally do yeah. if you seen a camera you were interested in and you bought it and you took it and you set it in the woods and you set it for two weeks or you set it for a month and then you come back and check it and said crap i had that thing set looking in the wrong direction or i had it set looking at the sun or i had it this we're trying to figure that out for you to where if you do buy this camera and we put our stamp of approval on it um we already have most of that worked out for you now the one and if the sun's going to affect it you need to change it if you need to turn the sensor down you can turn the sensor the down. one thing I i'm going to mention because it's not just new views hunting it's any of those cameras that we've gotten lately is the s the micro sd card that comes with them our card readers have had issues reading them at least mine has because and their, those card readers are the wild game innovation card readers for the iphone right and they only really i think go to a 32 gig but what i have found with the card reader when i stick that card into an adapter and put it in the card reader and then try to read it on my phone it says no fat 32 found okay i don't know if new view hunting and these other companies we've tested cameras for are using max to format their SD cards Maybe. or what. But, you know, if you want to be able to use a card reader to read that card that come with the camera, you may want to consider taking your S taking an SD card you've bought at Walmart or whatever, it's 32 gig byte or whatever, that you know is a Windows formatted FAT32 card so you can read it with a card reader. I still don't like the micro SDs, but I understand where they're coming from. All of your tablets now, for the most part, if you buy a new tablet, somewhere on the side of them, they actually, just like a laptop, have a micro SD card slot you can slide it into, and it'll read it. Unlike our, where, where we're using a card reader. They're made for the full into size. Our phone, the, the tablets, you can just slide it into the tablet. So if that's what you're using, this might work. Oh, it will work. It's we, a card reader. But I'm saying we don't have one to test it. Right. We don't have an, an iPad with the micro SD card or a uh, a Windows, or not Windows, but a, uh, what's the other one? iOS or Mac. No. You have iPhone and you have... Samsung. What's their operating system? I, I stay away from it, so I don't. Know I don't it. know. It's, it's well. A, anyway, if you have a Samsung, something like that, I, uh, tablet, they have the card reader. It's Android. Android. Yeah. They have that slot where you can take that I, micro SD and you can put it in there, and then that tablet's going to read that card. Now, maybe that card will work great with that because it has its own actual card reader. But as far as the little card readers that we have that are made by Wild Game Innovations that are for iPhones, I ran into a lot of problems with the ones that are made for Androids that are Wild Game Innovations. Um, they won't read these even with an adapter. 
Um, these tablets might, but we don't have one of those tablets. Might be something I get in the future, but right now we don't have it. So, Okay, folks, I'm going to end this video. This part of it's already 22 minutes long, and I've got the initial unboxing video to have to do uh, that'll be in the beginning of this. But we appreciate you watching J&J True Outdoor Adventures. And as we're fond of saying, we'll see you in the woods. We'll see you here in the woods. Go talk.